Igor Gherkin's warning to the Kremlin. The Russian army is being destroyed in the Ukrainian steppes. Russian war criminal Igor Girkin, who is in a pre-trial detention center for criticizing the Russian authorities, even from there, sees growing problems in the Russian army. Girkin's letter with the corresponding content was published by his wife. The military situation is characterized by a continuing gradual deterioration in the position of the Russian armed forces on the Ukrainian front. Despite the generally successful repulsion of the Ukrainian Armed Forces offensive during the summer-autumn campaign, the Russian Armed Forces continue to demonstrate growing weakness, writes Girkin. Girkin expressed the belief that the Ukrainian Armed Forces supposedly self-destructed during the summer offensive, but Russia was still unable to effectively take advantage of this and carry out its big offensive. At the same time, he names the main failures of the Russians, where they tried to actively attack but achieved nothing except serious losses, the directions of Kupiansk, Liman, Avdiivka. The Avdiivka battles demonstrated the inability of the Russian armed forces to achieve superiority over the armed forces of Ukraine even on a very narrow sector of the front, despite careful preparation and good coordination of strike forces and means at the initial stage of the operation, as well as an abundance of ammunition unheard of since the assault in Bakhmut, notes Girkin. Girkin is particularly concerned about Ukraine's increasingly active use of aviation and missile technology, which the Russian army cannot counteract. He fears that the destruction of the airfield in Berdyansk is just a clear example of what awaits the Russian occupiers in the future. The war criminal warns that with the delivery of F-16 fighters to Ukraine, the Ukrainian armed forces will have even more opportunities for long-range strikes and creating local advantages in certain sectors of the front. In general, Girkin predicts that the Ukrainian armed forces will impose local exhaustion battles on the Russians along the entire front line in order to knock out and morally break the Russian front line units and thus achieve a breakthrough. Girkin considers the Kherson front to be the most dangerous direction, where a combination of natural factors gives the Ukrainian armed forces some objective advantages. Girkin fears that a large bridgehead may soon emerge here, threatening a breakthrough in the direction of Crimea. Once again criticizing the authorities for their reluctance to carry out a new wave of mobilization, Girkin predicts a further weakening of the Russian armed forces by the spring of next year against the background of the strengthening of the Ukrainian army.